FrugalSim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. In fact, this is the first of a series of very short videos giving you hints and tips on how to achieve cool things with the new sim. First hint and tip I'm going to give you is how to install liveries. Now this is actually surprisingly easy and very cool. If I go into the world map, I can do this from my profile as well, but we got the Boeing 747-8 up here. And one of the cool things with the UI in Microsoft Flight Simulator is you can click on liveries and there's nothing. How, what, no, that's fine. Let me show you what we can do. If you have a very cool tool that was developed as part of Hacktoberfest installed on your PC, and I'll walk you through that as well, then you will find that when you open an aircraft, you can very easily go and add custom liveries for that aircraft. So there's the British Airways A320 Neo. Very, very cool, very easy to set up. How do you do all this? There is a tool called the Liveries Mega Pack, which is here, the MS MSFS 2020 Livery Mega Pack Manager. You can find it on GitHub. All you need, I'm gonna put a link in the comment in the uh, video description below, but go on to GitHub, follow that link, go on to GitHub. There's a readme all about it. There's a Discord server running this project and you can click on liverysmegapack.com slash manager. That's where you download the actual manager tool and it's as simple as that. Once you have the tool installed, it looks like this. It's very cool looking. They've actually done a great job. This is community developed, although it is saying it is the official livery manager. I'm not sure how that works. It seems to be a community project. I don't know all the guys involved. I'm actually thinking about contributing though because it's kind of cool. If we click on available liveries, listed down the left hand side, you have all the aircraft in MSFS 2020. So there's the citation in CJ4, for example. Let's go ahead and click on, let's look at the icon, the icon A5, right? There's the icon A5, we have zero liveries installed. This is what it looks like by default. And if we scroll this down, you have a bunch of different liveries now. You can expand any of them and see a preview of what that livery looks like. So icon noir, the icon black. Where'd it go, where'd it go, come back, come back. Oh, it went away, that's not cool. Maybe I'll fix that if I get involved in the project. But anyway, there's a black icon right there, which is kind of cool. Obviously, if you're looking at um, the bigger jets, like the 747, the 787, the A320, you're gonna find a lot of liveries there because everybody wants to fly their favorite airlines. So we have Air Canada, for example, on the 787, Air France, Air India, Air Rhodesia, American, and so on, and so on, and so on. Let's go ahead and look at a KLM 787. So we'll just expand this. There it is, very nice looking KLM. And all we need to do now is just click it, doink, and install it. You can actually install a bunch of liveries at once. So just to prove a point, I'm going to install the uh, Gulf Etihad 787. Let's go ahead and put a cargo jet in there as well. Put British Airlines in there. Might as well pick up Canada and da, 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 version Atlantic. That looks fun. Once you've selected all the liveries you want, just click on install. The tool then downloads them and drops them into your sim. It's as simple as that. Once you have liveries installed, let's just finish downloading that last one here. Once you have them installed, you can click on installed liveries. It shows you everything you have. So I have seven liveries installed for the 787 now, and I have one livery installed for the Airbus. Now, back over in the sim, I'm not sure if I need to reload the sim to do this. I'm gonna try and not reload the sim just to prove a point so that you guys, if you have problems, and I do too, you'll know why. There's the 787, click on liveries. Yeah, I do need to reload the sim. So I'll be right back after I've rebooted the flight sim. Welcome back. So having restarted the sim, now I should be able to go into world map or profile, click on the aircraft of my choice, click on liveries, check that out. Now we have a bunch of them. Now some of them, obviously these are all community developed liveries. Some of them are better than others. Some of them have a really nice preview image of the livery, some of them don't. Not a problem, what you can do is you can just click on an aircraft like that one. So, whoops, chose the wrong one. Let me try that once again, click on Golf Air here. So that's selected. Now if I go back to home, go to my profile, go to my hangar, it will load the aircraft in, you get a nice preview of what that livery is gonna look like. There it goes, it's gonna take a little while to load it up. That's actually really, 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 really sexy. 
And that's it. That's all there is to installing liveries. Go ahead and download the Mega Pack Livery Manager or Mega Livery Power. I don't know what it's called, but it's a very cool tool. Go download that. There is a link in the video notes below. Follow that link, download it, install it, run it, and livery your little brains out. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon.